Welcome to a special Wednesday episode of the Nitpicking Nerds. Today we're doing something we've only done once before, but it's really cool. We did it six months ago. We're gonna build a commander deck right now, in an hour, with a random commander. Whoa! Move your hands together. Okay. I'm your host, Joe Cherries. And I'm your host, BZ, and that makes us the Nitpicking Nerds. We're gonna take a deck, Go to EDH Rec, hit random, generate that deck for you in an hour. In an hour. I have a timer I'm going to start as soon as BZ hits that random button. Go to EDH Rec, BZ. Let's get into it. Oh, also, um, subscribe because 10% more of things happen. Disclaimer guy here. Just fill in the blank air while the picking nerd sits still because they didn't really set me up for a joke or anything. And who doesn't like things happening? Yeah. All right, so let's we'll just find a computer. Uh, here's one. Here's oh, one. Thank God. Right, so thank let's just God grab you found this one. one. Just kind of lying there. I don't know who left it there, but we're going to... Go to EDH Rec right now. We're gonna shrink into the corner. <laughs> That's a, that, that is official sound effect of the Yes, it here. absolutely is. And we are going to hit random. Come on, random commander, don't, don't. Don't fail us now. Don't fail us now. Uh, Kumena, Tyrant of Araska, is our new random commander. Okay, new. It's a, well, I guess it's our second one that we've ever done. Uh, so Kumena, Tyrant of Araska. This, well, this is a merfolk deck, right? Yes, this is. This is merfolk tribal. One blue, well, blue, green. <laughs> I guess we'll just read it. It's a 2-4. Uh, tap another untap Merfolk. He can't be blocked. Tap three untap Merfolk you control. Draw a card. Tap five untap Merfolk you control. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each Merfolk you control. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's let's do this. So, wait, right, hold on. Right. I got to hit this timer button. Yeah, hit the timer. Boop. We'll just, we'll just start. Boop. It. Joe, that was, your, that was your cue to put the timer on the screen. Boop. All right, Kumena, um, Merfolk guy. So, Kumena Merfolk Guy, official name of the deck. Yes, we're going to just use tap out because I think that's pretty much the best way to go about um, making a deck. If you want to do it like this from scratch, yeah. and you want to like, you need the quick add, and we're going to need to see what we actually put in, the curve and stuff, and I think this is the best way to do that. But yes, I agree. I'm going to be the typist, so Joe's going to be doing maybe more talking than me. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you more talking. And we're very tiny now. Yes, we're very tiny. Let's start with some staples before we even look at EDA track. Before for... we even go there, we're gonna we're gonna need a soul ring in this deck, I think. Yeah, we're gonna need a soul ring. Let's just say, because we're building a deck from scratch, we like to put usually we put extra cards in. We might not get extra cards because we're on such a tight restriction. But like, I throw in Cyclonic Rift. It's like in the original list of like any blue deck I do, it's gonna have Cyclonic Rift. Yeah, let's throw it in. I mean, the non-synergy stuff is first, so I'll just add um, our typical like the blue green lands, because we have to add those at some point. And why don't you just talk about what ideas you might have? Uh, I'm already, well, I'm still on the, I mean, we're gonna get into the tribal. I actually don't know Merfolk so off the top of my head. I'm gonna, EDA track's gonna be a good thing for us here. It's not all you're supposed to use. We use multiple different resources, but for the purposes of screen capturing and this video, we'll just stick with EDA track yeah, in we our go, own heads. We watch a lot of, like, we go to a lot of different decks usually when we're looking. We usually look at, like, I look looked, at Tapped Out, MTG Oldfish, EDH Rec. Uh, I have a, I search cards myself on my phone to make sure I didn't miss anything. I usually, yeah, I usually look at like at least twenty of the commander decks to yeah. see what's in there and like see if there's anything cool that I'm missing. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. um, some other put in you could put in our little ramp package that we do with this. Uh, nature, that? Nature's Lore. Oh, Nature's Lore because we're in a green deck. Yeah, Nature's Lore. We're in a green deck. Uh, Sky Shadow Claim. We're in a green deck. Just perfect. I mean, Strong cards. That's good there. Uh, let's, why don't we just get into it and see yeah, what kind of merfolk we can even find. I can't even think of merfolks that like necessarily go on this to start. Well, I mean, these are new cards, and I don't really think any of these really do anything. I, no, I can see this being a Thassa's Oracle deck. I don't know. Maybe. We'll, we'll, maybe. I would just put Thassa's Oracle in here. You would? I would, just because, again, we're, we're building the deck here. We're starting with it. Thassa's Oracle it is a merfolk, and yeah. it can... It, she draws cards. I'm sure there's combos that we can get to that will win the game for us. I mean, Deep Root Waters... That card is very, very good. I like me some Deep Root Waters. What does Deep Root Waters do? I didn't see it. It's an enchantment. Whenever you cast a Merfolk, you get a Hexproof Merfolk token. Oh, that's super good. Also, Oracle, sure. It's I, in there for now. We can always cut it later. I, personally, I think we're going to be able to make... Like, if we're going to be in a deck that is already Merfolk, Thassa's Oracle is a Merfolk, we can find a combo. Are we trying to, like, pump our Merfolk, though? Do we need, like, ten Lords that all, that all they really do is <laughs> give plus one, plus one? Or do we want, like, merfolk that do things? I would like my mer I don't think I want to... No, you know what? The, the ones that give Island Walk, I'm not against. Island is... That, okay, we can fool around with the Island... So, like, Master is better than, like, these. 
What do those ones do? Tip. This taps the run taps a permanent. That's probably more useful. Yeah. That's like an actual ability. Mirror Retry is good. Merfolk Sovereign doesn't really do anything. No, yeah, don't put that so one. Mirror Retry we can do. Yeah, put the put the two copies of the plus one plus one island walk in. Right, that's uh, Lord of Atlantis and Master of the Pearl Trident. Yeah, both of those are good enough that I I think Island Walk in EDH where islands are everywhere is great. Right. I hope uh, there's not a lot of Merfolk haters out there who are just like, Brandon Commander, Comana. No, I'm not going to watch this. <laughs> I'm not going to watch this. Sea Floracle, as I like to call him, that card is amazing. What is it? It makes all your Merfolk, whenever they hit, you draw a card. Oh my and Kamina actively makes himself unblockable with, with other uh, Merfolk. I mean, I don't really think we care about Deep Root Elite unless we're trying to make Kamina really big. Ooh, no, I, I can already tell, like, based on how all these things do specific things. We're going to want uh, some green tutor creature effects. We're going to want uh, Court of Calling. Okay, Court of Calling. I thought I was going Green Sun Zenith. No. No, Court not of Calling seems good to me. Yeah, Court of Calling. Like there's, that one. There's, there's other versions. Um, uh, finale of Devastation. Finale of Devastation. At least that's two right there. Like, yeah. These, there's a lot you're of... You're some tutors, right? So many of these guys are so are specific in what they do. Right. So it's like you're going to want to be able to get these effects hmm. when you want them. Oh, okay. So, Forerunner of the Herald searches for a merfolk. Do we want that? It puts it on top. That's got to be good, right? We just said if we want tutors. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. We're looking for specific cards. Not going to lie. You know what card I actually think we're going to... What? We might like in this deck. Uh, no, we have counter magic. I was gonna I'm say, going um, to, yeah. I was going to say heroic intervention, but it's like you just yeah. have counter magic. <laughs> yeah, it's like gr- we'll get when- to that in a second. Silver Gill Adept. That's the Elvish Visionary of Merfolk. So. Yeah, you're just putting that in. Our Silver Gill Adept got new art recently. It's really cool. It got good art recently. <laughs> Ayo, throwing shade. Oh man, Kira's now follower. here's some good ones. Kira's follower. That's just a great. That's just a great um, commander card in general. Oh, the proliferate guy's got to be good because we, we can put counters in all our merfolks. Oh, proliferate? yeah, merfolk skydiver. Oh, that's great. And it's a merfolk. It's randomly a merfolk because Simic just likes to say roll a dice and yeah, to put like creature to types throw. on. Oh. Herald of Secret, so Herald of Secret Streams, we want that. What is that? Once we put a counter on our team, none of them can be blocked. Because you control with the plus one, plus one counter. It can't be blocked. That's yeah. got to be playable, right? Herald of Secret Streams? How is that? Not, I mean, it's that actually so... Remi- like, now we can even play around with Plus one, plus one counters if we want to. Yeah, so no. There seems to be a lot of... And that actually makes me think of this one card. What is it? At the end of your turn, untap all merfolk you control? Yeah. I want to do that. Why do we want to tap on untap all merfolk? Because then they can draw more cards. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. really good. We're syn- yeah, we're synergizing really well here. There's a lot of synergy in these merfolks here. Apparently. I think that was Marrow Commerce. Yeah, it is. I, I oh, mean... that's pretty sweet. I, uh, Coastal Piracy, Biden the Fasa. We're going to be... Oh, well, every- maybe. We, we can... That seems like something we would do. Tashana just draws a bunch of cards. Tishana's That's great. like the biggest. I folk. love Tashana. That's got to be pretty good. I like that she's an old woman. There's not a lot of old woman magic cards, especially ones that are powerful. Ah, uh, there's, there's a card called Mother or whatever. Mother. Well, Tatiova's insane, so that's gonna go in the oh, deck. The guy that you tap stuff on Merfolk's a counter spell, right? Uh, yeah, I think that card's good. I mean, especially if we have like the ways to make like those one ones. Oh. Mage Mentor. That card, right, that's a good one. That's that a good card one. was. Uh, How do we care about? We feel good about Murkfiend Leech. Green and blues get plus one plus one, and we untap our green and blues. Or do we rather just have Seaborn Muse, which untaps everything? No, I think I like this more because more. I don't think we're we're not going to be too instant speed of a deck overall. Yeah. So you want the buff? So I think the buff. Yeah, because we're going to be an attack deck. Okay. So I think if we're gonna we're gonna go super wide, we might as well also get attacks. Sure. Get those attacks in there. Suck it, Seaborn Muse. We don't need you. Uh, put one of our. Put. Uh, I just saw counter spells. That put Arcane Denial in Swan Song. I'd put those two in to have two. Uh, yeah, we can throw in some counter spells. Now. We're gonna need a couple. Yeah. Do we want Narset's reversal, or do we just want to be able to stop the board wipes? Basically, we want to be able to stop board wipes. That's yeah. gonna be the most important thing to stop. Well, this card, Surge Spanner, is formatted for a two-two. When it becomes tapped, you pay two. If you do bounce a permanent, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. Well, maybe we'll see what else we can do, but I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that. No, I'm not do we either. want to name Merfolk with Vanquisher's Banner and no. then draw cards off of it? I've never been a fan of that card. Zagana. Yeah, it's a little expensive. I think, I, I mean, I just don't want Vanquisher's Banner because we're in blue. We have Kindred Discovery. Oh, my. That was that not the first card we added. Yeah. That card is busted. I mean, there's just no reason. If Vanquisher's Banner just doesn't really need to be in a blue deck unless you want a second version. Yeah, of Kindred Discovery, five mana. Choose Merfolk. Whenever a Merfolk attacks or enters under your control, you draw a card. Oh, it's, it's so strong. It's so good. 
Oh, Sea Hunter? It's part of the cycle. You pay three and tap it, search for a merfolk, and put it into play. Yeah, I'm in. Put it into play? Yep. Oh, that card's great. And there's one with elves, there's one with goblins. Oh, you can do that for Tishana then? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, and the Murphing Lead is an untap it, so you can do it every turn. What does Lagana do? Is she's not part she with it. She enters and she if you control a creature with a counter on it, you draw a card and she's your counters have trample and it doesn't really Your deal counters with it. have trample. Yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> Uh, uh, Fallow Sage, when it becomes tapped, you draw a card, but it's a 4-mana 2-2. Two, two. No. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. No. Merfolk Trickster is not very great. Oh, I'm a fan of Adele. Well, Ada Adele, really? Yeah, I am a fan of her. Set Fire to the Rain? Yeah, she sets, <laughs> she sets Fire to the Rain. It just steals your opponent's Soul Rings. And what, do you want to put um, Spreading Seas before we forget? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean... Turn our opponent's lands into islands. Then we can get our Island Walk... Uh, Goodies. It also places itself, which is just awesome. It definitely does. I'm down for Metallic Mimic if we're on the plan of uh, plus, see, plus I don't counters. know if I am down with Metallic Mimic. No? It's just, it's like a worse lord. It's a lord that if you draw it, you have to play a lord before you play your guys. And then if you just kind of draw it, it doesn't do anything. Okay. I I'm mean, like not super in on that. I don't really care about either Coral Helm Commander or Shapers of Nature. I don't really tap, want to tap all creatures target player controls. Maybe if we get desperate. But I like these. I pretty much like all four of these next ones. Let's see. We got, High Speaker Zagana is really good. Uh, Zagana is definitely a Master Waves I like a lot. I mean, Master Waves is just, it's not like it's, it's super synergistic with the deck, but it just, it just makes a bunch of dudes. Yeah, it just. I mean, you're going to have a lot of devotion to blue. It's the same thing with like Thassa's Oracle. It's just yeah, a good card. Exactly. What's that? What's that? Biomancer's. I don't hate Biomancer. When, when you put counters on it, you get to draw a discard. Okay. So if we can find multiple ways to put. Uh, we have already. We already have like three ways to put counters on. Plus our commander. So I don't. Uh, Jayla Ranger is like so medium, but maybe it's just a good filler. Like it's just it's like Silver Gill Adept. Just gonna oh, I, 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 I have no. Pro I like that card a lot. In fact, yeah. I'm I'm down to put the one that only does it once. Oh, the other one. I, what's, what's that card called? We'll figure it out. Well, we'll get there. Wanderwine Prophets. Uh, you champion is? a Merfolk when it hits. You can sacrifice a Merfolk and take an extra turn. Why don't? I mean. Does Kumena say that target Merfolk, or just he's unlockable? Yeah, just him. Yeah, I think I still like that card. We have, we, we have, have Island we have, Walk. We have Island Walk. We have creatures you control with counters on them, can't be blocked. So let's throw it in there. Yeah, that seems really good. If you if you just start getting it going, you're gonna win. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's, but you have to champion a Merfolk and then sacrifice a Merfolk. So we have to get a, a bunch of Merfolk out. Well, we, we have cards to make those little one ones. What's the Merfolk that when it enters makes a 1-1 one -one Hexproof for like 3 mana? Let's give us no some. No way. I don't know. It doesn't seem bad. Getting ex good, getting two bot two Merfolks for... 3 for, mana? For 3 mana doesn't seem bad. Ooh, I'm not a huge with, fan. But Kumena be like, like... Or what's our commander's name? Kumena? Oh, it is. I said it and then forgot it. I said it and then I thought I was wrong. There it is, Branch Walker. I already threw. Yeah, I already threw Branch Walker in. Oh, you remember like, the name? I, I couldn't think of it. Well, I, no, when we were here, I saw. Oh, Merfolk Branch Walker. Oh, okay. and I threw it in. I'm not, uh, not that crazy. Well, I don't know what Slim Vote is. Oh, doing. <laughs> Thrasios. Thrasios. That was good commentary right there. <laughs> uh, fart noise. Yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, yeah. There's a couple cards you forget that are Merfolk, like Tatiova. And Prime Speaker Zagana and Thrasios that are just like great. Yeah, it's just like wow, that card's insane. Why? Well, a six mana Merfolk that says blue creatures you control are unblockable. That probably just goes in. Deep Channel Mentor. Sure. Uh, welcome to our deck. Welcome to making our creatures unblockable. Oh, this deck. This deck seems like uh, the Cryptologist. You can level up and then draw a discard. It's good when you untap Merfolk, but not a fan eh, of it. Not, 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 not huge. Not huge into that. I don't really care about these other one drops. Yeah. Fine Shaper Mystic. We're getting into the, like, the poopy ones now, I think. Merfolk Looter, maybe. Gaining control Whatever of Legends, you're... is that really what we're trying to do? Empress Galena. I don't um, think we're trying to gain control of Legends. I don't like, I'm not, I don't really care about Looters. Do we want True Name Nemesis? Yes. <laughs> just because it's good? It's just good. It's also just easily unblockable, and we're pumping it. Yeah, we could, we can pump it. I'm sure there's other stuff we can do. I do like Curse Catcher. That card's annoying. No, really? Yes, I... First catcher... For I'll play Riverwise Augur because it brainstorms. Like, I am being serious. I really think Curse Catcher should be in this deck. The card is annoying enough that I think it should be in the deck. All right, we'll try Curse Catcher. Like, I don't think it's, like, super good, but I think... We don't really want many one-drops, but if we can just get a one... One mana, one one body, that also can be annoying in a lot of instances. Oh, how about three mana, two two, draw card? I'm in. Makes a bunch of devotion. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I had Nykthos to this deck. Oh, yeah. Nykthos trying to 
Shrine to Mana. We could definitely get that in. Uh, Alchemist's Refuge, I want to add, just because that's a good flash land. Flash and some Merfolk, draw a couple cards. Uh, title Career, I'm just... Oh, it's actually a good card. <laughs> it's, what does it do? It's a format I want to when it enters, you reveal the top four cards, put all Merfolk into your hand. And then you can pay a thousand mana to give it flying. Oh, it's... So it replaces itself. Oh, it's, uh... Probably. What's the other... What's the goblin version of that? It's just... you put a recycle. No, because those were all called something. Recruit... Not recruiter. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We can just... We can just move on, I think. Ringleader? <laughs> this is a merfolk that makes... Taps to make a land and island until end of turn. I'm not really in for that. Thassa, no. no not enough impact. I don't really care. Uh, Sage of Fables? How many wizards do we have? That's... <sighs> that's the real question. I don't know. Let's see. This... This. Uh, oh yes, God. I would like. Oh, God, we're 22 minutes up. in. we got to hurry up, B. Well, what does the timer say on your phone? Oh. Like timers? Yeah, that's the official. Oh, yeah, let me, let me check my official timer. That's totally not on the floor. We are 15 minutes into this. Yeah, we're 15 minutes. That's not too bad. Approximately. i got to find my typos. Excuse B me. Oh, my God. He's wasting our time. We're never going to make it. Oh, I typoed, like, one letter in, like, 30 cards. We're never going to work it. Get out of here. Whatever gonna work good. All right, so what, what do we Great got? Commentary. This is initially, we're 49 cards in already. We just threw in basically the first 30 merfolk that we found that like are playable. I think we have one non-merfolk, it looks like. Just that one guy who untaps, a couple random lands, a couple counter spells, a couple staples, tutor, fine lands, spreading seeds, make guys unblockable. We have a lot of tribal payoffs. I want to throw in uh, I definitely want to throw in... Oh, you know what? I was going to see how many wizards we had. But I wanted to throw in... Ah... Uh, what's that? Urza's Incubator. You know, BZ wants to throw in. He wants to throw in. He I wants like to Urza's throw in. I like Incubator. I and like then the I like too. Path of Ancestry. A couple, like, no-brainer free uh, tribal payoffs for your deck. Yeah, they're great. They're definitely great. I wanted to see how many wizards we had. Let's see how many of these guys happen to be wizards. One. Why don't you count? Uh, that's, Two. That's one... Let's see, who else do we have? Two, well, Three, Old Mage, Mad four, Master. Five. Okay, Harbinger. Oh, six, Sagana, that guy. Seven, this eight. This guy, not gonna check. That ten, one. Druid. Eleven. Thassa's Oracle. Twelve. Him. So 13, 14. 14. 14. We have 14. Um, 14 wizards. What's this? What does this card do? Each wizard enters with a counter on it, and then... Oh, no, that's actually great. Remove a counter from a creature you control, draw a card. We have counters on our creatures what? That anyway. card's just good, yeah. Well, I was seeing how many wizards we had, but it does actually doesn't really... That's it, not even the main focus. We didn't even need that text. That text is just... Oh, gravy. Oh, what is it? Sage of Fables? I, I don't know. Well, I, I just literally, I don't it. think I I've ever seen that card before. I played actually. it. I had a tribal wizards deck before. Oh, yeah, you did. Ewit. Do we want an E-Witness, since we have creature tutors? Probably, it's right? Put Eternal Witness in there. It's just such a good card. Like you said, we have creature tutors. Is there something in Graveyard we want back? Get it? Yeah, that sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. We probably need some interaction, too. I think that's a good idea. I like Inspiring Call. That's way, 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 way better than stupid Heroic Intervention. Oh, in this deck? Yeah, Inspiring Call Yeah, you tap all your guys, put a counter on all of them, and then you just draw a thousand cards. It's good. It can be used aggressively and defensively. Love it. Uh, like I don't know me. if we need too many Doomblade effects. I would I'd take one. I, at least, one of them? I like having at least one in the deck. I like having. What do we want? I like Reality Shift, honestly, because I, like, shift I love having the Exile. Plus, it has the bonus of shutting off tutor, top of tutor cards. Uh, like, I mean, whatever they're getting, they don't want to have to unmanifest if it's a creature. Yeah, it's, it's real strong. Hmm, there's some cool cards here. Not uh, really. Return of the Wild Speaker is not uh, something I am in for. Kindred Summons, search for a bunch of merfolk. That's like okay. This is the you first. You have five merfolk. You pay seven mana, instant speed. Flip the top. Flip until you hit seven merfolk. So it's guaranteed. Seven merfolk. Mm, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I don't hate dramatic reversal because what? If you well, I, so as soon as you have three merfolk, it cycles. As soon as you have three merfolk, it cycles. As soon as you have two, it's just divination for two mana. Oh man. And then it can go up from there. You mean six merfolk? Divination. Yeah, but then it just depends on where you're going. I mean, maybe we're that's, trying to go wide. That doesn't seem like a super high ceiling to me. I don't. I don't nature's know. Nature's claim. Get it in. I love nature's claim. I'm always playing a nature's claim, basically in my green decks. It's hard to convince me not to. Just in case you're an all creature deck, which we are, it is a cheap way to guaranteed stop something that like humility is in play or whatever. It's like, all right, get that out. I don't have to deal with it. Yeah. Um, I don't want to deal with it. Do you think worldly tutor? 
Uh, it's a little expensive. I don't. I feel like we don't need to necessarily go to like the crazy expensive cards. Opt. <laughs> opt. Get get your opt out of here. Uh, uh. If you're playing opt, just take it out and <laughs> take it out of this. Uh, this land is or this card is great. You just put a flood counter on a land. Then if you control a merfolk, which how do you not? You just draw a card and the land becomes an island. Oh okay. Yeah. Let's make lands islands. Yeah. Aqua Aquatex will. I don't know what that is. There we go. Aquatex will, yeah. It's like never... Architect, but What's Season's Aqua? Harvest? Season's Harvest is not a magic card. Harvest Season, though, <laughs> is you search for cards equal to the number of tapped creatures you control. We can forcefully tap our merfolk, oh. so I am so Oh, that's that awesome. That is really cool. I love these sweet synergies that we're finding. Right, like... let's, let's just type in Season. <laughs> I'm not searching for that. Mm-hmm. These are like some random synergies. Like, thanks a lot, EDH Rec, because I'm not thinking of Harvest Season. <laughs> or Season. Triumph of the Hordes. Bleh. I don't really care. Um, I, I do, I love me some Incubation Incongruity. What's that one? Incubation is, okay, are you serious? <laughs> it's coming with nature, and then Incongruity is you exile a creature and they get a 3-3 frog. It's got some versatility to yeah, it. Yeah, I like the versatility. No, I'm, I'm, I'm against it. This is, it's one of those cards where, like, if I was building this deck, it would go in my original list and I would try it. Yeah, I it's don't... like the 101st card sometimes, though. Ooh, Neoform? Maybe not. No. Eldritch Evolution? Do we want that? Eldritch Evolution? Which one's Eldritch Evolution? It's Neoform, but better. No, I don't think we need that. All right. It doesn't feel like what we... None of those cards are really that interesting. Herald's Horn is kind of cool. Do we put... We put is kind of cool. Do we put Biden in the... No, we didn't put him in yet. I said we'd look at it later. I but it looks we, like now we want to put him I in. I think we're definitely on that track. Biden of Thassa and Coastal Piracy. Sounds also, like okay, just with how we've built this deck so far... Yeah? We already... It already feels like Thassa's or Kukun is the game. You think so? We haven't even gone in on it. We're gonna draw that many cards. If we, yeah, if we, basically, if we can avoid board wipes for a couple turns, our board's gonna be insane. Let's put in Harold Torn too. Yeah, I like Harold Torn. It's a weird card. If it just, I don't know, cards that reduce, like, if it just said creatures you control cost one less, I'm not super in for that. I want like this can draw cards too. I, I don't like the spells you cast cost one less to cast unless it's either all of your spells. Like if you're a mono blue deck and you play Sapphire Medallion, yeah. But I don't, I don't like it. It needs to say other things. Okay, like. classic. You don't need this in your deck. Swiftfoot boots and lightning greaves don't make any sense in this deck. No, I would never really even consider them. You can play your commander. Yeah, it's a lightning rod, but I think I'm not going to worry about that too much. What's the? But it's a good thing. Um, it has four butt. So when it gets hit card? by the lightning bolt, it's fine. Yeah, right. What's that <laughs> card that puts the commander from play to your hand? It's Sanctum of Eternity. Yes, yeah, Sanctum of Eternity. We'll just play that. <laughs> Card is great. That card has been nothing but good. Yeah, we'll just time. return it to our hand and not worry about it. <laughs> in uh, a land that, that's really I like how this cute throne of the God Pharaoh there. That is cute. The, I don't I don't know how good it is. It lets you combo off and put as many into play as you can. Uh, uh, cute. I used the word cute. I didn't say yeah, good. Yeah, no, it's definitely cute. I don't care about Quicksilver Fountain, even though that card is nasty. It turns it slowly turns all lands into islands. But it doesn't get your card back, and it turns it's, our lands into islands. It's super slow. The Immortal Sun, uh, maximum flavor, 0% makes sense in this deck. Yeah. Uh, Flash is whatever, Sword is nothing. Let's let's get closer to, ooh, Simic Ascendancy? Is that how we win this game? No, we're not playing what? that. That card's bad. No way! Did you they're... only need to put 20 counters um, on a creature you control. So if you put five count- one counter on five creatures, it'll trigger five times. Get out of here. No way, because then you can play Quest for Renewal. Whenever creature you control becomes tapped, you can put a counter on it. And then if there's three, you untap all creatures you control during each other player's untap step. Somebody just knows these butts. Don't, okay, don't. What about Quest for Renewal? That Quest for Renewal, kind of, that sounded yeah. cool. I do like that. I don't um, really hate Simic Ascendancy, but we don't have to play it. Hadana's Climb, we're not trying to make a big fat fatty. Oh, hold on, what were they thinking? Cartel Threat is okay. I had something. You had something. Yeah, I had a card I wanted to add, but oh, I just... nice going. It's ruined it. You ruined it. Mm. Oh, oh. What? Pff, we're on counters. Yeah? What's the first counters card you had? I don't know. Hardened Scales? Oh, Hardened Scales, really? I mean, if we're we put... Not, we're not all in. It seems like we have a, a, a sub-theme. Well, we do, we do, but like I'm saying... I, but it just, it's just because the commander enough, I think it just goes in. Because that's if you... That's a lot of... That's a whole card to spend on just a couple power. It's... I don't know. Every single time that. you tap... Okay. It's guaranteed that anytime you've ever, uh, anytime you do it, it's five power, plus other synergies. Five power, but we're trying to draw cards with them. I'm gonna put Guardian Project in. I already did that. I like Guardian Project. Yep. Yeah, Growing Rights is whatever. 
Well, hold on. What about crypto with right? Do we care? What's path of discovery? So whenever a creature enters, it explores. I'm not against Cliff Cliff Fights. That just goes super wide. Path of Discovery is really cool, and I admit, would consider playing it a lot more if Guardian Project and Beast, Beast Whisperer just didn't exist. Could look, they're currently like right next to each other. Holy crap, how much better is Guardian Project? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So much better. I'm not against going right to Viclamok. I don't know. We're, we're going to be high number of creatures. Yeah, it's like fine. I haven't been super stoked with that card. It's it's, it's probably good enough. The things that the thing I like about it is you get your card back right away. Yeah. And then if you flip it, it's insane. Ooh, intruder alarm. That's gotta be really really good. That's gotta be ways to go infinite. What? How's that oh. more? How do you make a one one more folk? What's that one do? Whenever you're, uh, whenever you cast a more folk creature spell. Okay, so we should be able to. Like this, we can <sighs> That's just. A lot. Okay. Let's put a risk study in. That card's fair. We can definitely just. I, Again, every time we add more cards, I just yeah. keep going, oh, yeah, Thassa's Oracle will win us some games. Now I'm starting to think with Intruder Alarm, we're getting, we're getting somewhere. If there's a Merfolk that enters and, like, unsummons something, then maybe we, maybe we can just win with itself. So should we put Crypto with right in? So our guys tap for mana? Yeah, I said Crypto with right. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, you didn't put it in? Yeah, no, I thought it was cool. Well, if our guys tap for mana, we, and we, what was the other thing we needed? A merfolk that unsummons? Maybe we don't need a merfolk, maybe we just need the drake. That's so lame. I am not putting random, unrelated combo in my merfolk deck. Get out of here. Oh my god. That's trash. I'm sorry. That is garbage. So you're a big baby. Uh, these four cards I don't care about at all. <laughs> I don't know if you, no, if you do, but I, I certainly don't. don't. I wasn't even thinking about Planeswalkers. Jang Yangu is okay. It's like probably too cute. Too it just dies to anything. He's so fragile. If I'm gonna I wish he was a rare so he'd enter out of the, seven loyalty. Out of these Planeswalkers, the one I like the most is Tamiyo Collector of Tales. Uh, I mean, and I'm not, saying, I'm not yeah. saying we need it. I'm saying if I'm putting one of those in, I'm putting that in. Or, Oko, I mean, Oko is probably. I mean, I'm not putting Oko in because I, I just think the card's lame. Oh, and you're putting in one mana Drake that unsummons its That's cool, because it's a cool combo! Oh my God, it's, garbage. it's a cool combo. Uh, Halimar Depths. Is the worst land ever. Hell, my depths is the worst Don't land ever. Don't play depths is the worst land ever. Uh, how, what are these lands do we care about? I don't know if we want Muta Vault. No, we want Muta Vault. Yeah, no, it just turns into. Yeah. That seems good to me. Yeah, but I don't see why. Uh, Castle Vantress, that's probably just free. If we have enough islands, yeah. I imagine we're going to have at least seven, eight you want islands. Castle Garen Brig? No. <laughs> no. We don't want the green. We don't it's want the free, much, but I don't know. We don't we want, want that much green mana. Counters on our green creatures that entered. We don't have enough green merfolk. No. There's not that many. Uh, we don't need signets because we're a green deck. But the Great Hens looks pretty cool. Or a counters deck. Yeah, Great Hens. I'm in on the, just, the Great Hens has just got to be an overperformer. It's mm. a card I haven't even put into a deck yet, but I want to because it just. It's so good. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's super so good. It's super good. Let's get some. Let's see. What lands do we miss here out of these ones? Oh, I haven't really put in. Let's put like Temple of Mystery. This isn't a competitive deck. You mm -hmm. have a couple Scrylands, or well, just just the one. But a couple Taplands isn't is not a big deal. Yeah, do you have a coast? Stay away from unclaimed territory. Yeah, put that in there. Path of Ancestry is great. Flooded Grove is a good one. Waterlogged Grove, definitely gonna make it in. I really don't like the name Waterlogged Grove. I never, I just don't like it. Really? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Okay, well, I'm sorry about that. that name. I'm not gonna put Cavern of Souls. Yeah, don't like, put. Harry Landscape is insane. We'll put that in. What's, what is that land? The one, go up, go back. Uh, go up, so, what's that? Opal Palace is fine. Nah, it's like, puts counters on just your commander. Oh, okay. You spent extra on it. I'm not in for that. I don't, we don't have any, have any landfalls, so I'm not crazy about. This man. I'm really not crazy about that. I, so I, we have a combo yet. We, let's see, let's see if we can actually figure out a combo here with the cards we have. Yeah, let's, can we, well, can we search for a merfolk that unsummons something? Yep, uh, what are you doing? I was gonna get my phone to do it. Oh, well, I can you just do it on the computer. Well, let's see if it's really oh, What are we see searching? We're searching the Scryfall. Go to Scryfall and try and find Merfolk okay. with that text. There might be. I, I mean, can't really think of one off the top of my head. Me either. But there's a lot of. We know a lot about magic. We don't know every magic card. We never will. Yes, and Scryfall will never. Look. Okay. What so does Stone Calendar will... do? I'm not sure. I know right now. I can tell you. It's a five minute artifact. Your spells cost one less to cast. <laughs> Boom. Easy. Boom. Well, okay. So we have to. Text is return creature to hand, basically. Merfolk. Type line, um, merfolk. Type line. 
Well, this is... No, you can do Merfolk. Really? Yeah, you can. Yeah, okay, cool. I haven't... I'm not familiar with this. I don't, I don't really I, use... I use a decent amount. Scry of Fall. It's blue or green. Including these colors, I think. No, no, that means... Exactly. Like, but exactly is including these colors. At most, these colors. Sure. At most, blue, green. Okay. Okay. Uh, commander doesn't matter. Mana cost doesn't matter. Just, just search. Yeah. Well, let's just, let's, we'll just, this should do it to it for us. Search with these options. We might hit nothing, too. I, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh. Well, looks like basically nothing. Opponents, opponents. Well, Storm Sculptor says when it enters, return a creature you control to its owner's hand. So there you go. We'll put it in the deck. Storm, Storm Sculptor, congratulations on being good enough. This is the this is the win the game combo now. We have a win the game combo. Storm Sculptor, Cryptolith Right, Intruder Alarm, Thassa's Oracle. Draw your whole deck. I mean, the Thassa's Oracle doesn't have to be in your hand to start because you can just yes start drawing cards. Well, actually, if you're making, I was gonna say Arc Tomorrow is okay, but the kicker is return a creature, so you can't return itself. So I'm not in, I'm not in on that. So what happens? What's what really will happen is like if you have Five merfolks. Oh, you get to play him to make infinite mana. Yes. Well, do we want Selkie Hedge Mage instead, or in addition to? Because if you control two forests, you gain three life. If you control two more islands, you may return target tapped creature to its owner's hand. If we have our commander, we tap this in response to draw a card, and then untap our creatures, and then bounce it. Well, actually, we'd have to, we'd have to trigger untap our creatures, then tap this, then bounce it. No, I just want the other one. But that's just as good. It's the same thing. We have to make sure we have enough. But we have to have more merfolks to guarantee that one. Because you need to... No. Oh, you only need one to make them unblockable. Yeah, you only need one. Oh, okay, yeah, no, then that, then so that is just ball. as good. You're right. Selkie Hedge Mage. Was it Silky? Silky. Oh, Silky, obviously. Silky. <laughs> you guys don't know Silky Hedge... Silk that makes me think of Silky from Teen Titans. You don't know Silky Hedge Mage, guys? All right. I feel like we're low on removal, but that's like the last thing we need to add. I mean, this deck... Doesn't feel like a super interactive deck. Well, Feels... we're certainly drawing cards. That's that much is true. We're going wide. We're doing good things. All right, where are we at here? Let's see. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. Where does the timer see. stand? Jordan. Why is the timer on the floor? Why don't you just put it on the table? Shut we're up. tiny in the bottom corner. Shut up. We're at 78 cards. 34 creatures. We're, we're only halfway through. <laughs> we're only halfway through. We get to we get to really refine this. And also, if it doesn't take an hour, it just doesn't take an hour. Yeah, we just go boom. We're better than you. Better than who? Everybody! Uh, so we got a couple of big boys. Uh, let's see, this is usually how all my decks look, where it's like three spells that are actually expensive and then everything is below five. Well, there's not even that many actual expensive spells. The Great Hedge is saying. not there's, an actual expensive spell. Well, in this deck it probably costs five mana. Yeah, that's fair. Not actually. If it costs nine, you're in trouble because then it won't even do anything. Right well, let's now. just, here, well, while we're working, because we can, we might as well do our whole process. Why don't we go to Google and find some up people's see what see what they find see what other people are doing because really we only have two one drop merfolks that's not super that, ideal so I mean I, I there's just not enough good no one drop merfolks don't do enough like the one is like a two two is like do I really want that one no yeah it's like there's most of them are really bad yeah, so let's go borrow let's go borrow some stuff yeah let's go see what other people close out Scryfall thank you Scryfall you did you did your thing I wasn't even thinking about uh, changelings but now I am. Are there any changelings that we want? Let's do blue-green changeling search on no, when this, Scryfall. Oh man, I just got rid of Scryfall. <laughs> Don't ever get rid of Scryfall. Well, I just opened it. So I thought Scryfall it is super useful. And we're going back. And changeling is not a creature type, so we have to search uh, changeling here. And then it's already those colors, so we can just search with these options. Let's see what we got. Do a quick. Okay. Probably nothing, because changelings don't really do that much. No, we have to find a good one here. I don't really want... I mean, there's the one Tap mana, one one... Untapped creature you control against flying? No, that seems bad. Yeah, that's nothing. So, the changelings was a bust. Well, we tried. We certainly did, so... Say bye to Scryfall. Oh, oh yeah. hold on. Go what? back. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What? We're not going to put in Game Trail Changeling? No, it's got the best. It's got one of the best arts in Magic, <laughs> but we're not putting it in. Okay. Yeah. As long as you admit to me that you're wrong in not doing it. Yes, I okay. am wrong, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to like try to critique these decks. That's not really why I'm here. I'm just here to see if I can find anything. Can we... find anything. Let's just go to the spoiler. It's probably the fastest way to to like see if we're missing anything. What spoiler? Just shows you. Um, 
Oh, a deck like this? Yeah. I, I like to arrange by... Well, we can arrange by type in this case. So, like, what artifacts do they have? Oh, Paradox Engine was so stupid in this deck. That's another way to win the game, but it's banned, thankfully. Uh, all these cards don't interest me. We don't need to look at the creatures as much right now. Earthcraft is... I mean, it's really good. What is it? Tap? Tap it out, tap creature, and tap a basic land. That's another way to go infinite. But Earthcraft is like $30, $40 at this point. Oh man. Do we want like Mystic Confluence as a counter spell? I love me a Mystic Confluence. Yeah, I don't know why. I like Mystic Confluence. It's like one of my favorite. It's probably, it's probably realistically my favorite counter spell in the So we have 78 cards, and 14 of them are land. So we really only need two more adds before we're done. Because I think this is like a 34 land deck. We do not play a lot of lands. In our decks. Yeah, we we do, we stick to a little, I think we need a couple more ramp spells. I think we're a little short on ramp. Well, we have the two searchers, we have soul ring, we have um, harvest season. We have cryptolithrites. Cryptolithrites, yeah, that's another way to ramp. I mean, we could just throw in like cultivate Kodamas, but I don't like doing that. I don't really, I'd, I don't really like those cards. I do like those. I would put, they're not cards I'm happy to play. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy to play them. We're not a creature, a lot of our ramp, the problem, we're in green, but we don't get to play a lot of the creature ramp that a lot of these decks get to play, because we're, we're, when we go creatures, we go in on like the subtype. Do we, Eternal Witness broke it, is that about it? Eternal Witness, and then the the liege that untaps our guys. Did you put Kiora's Follower? Yeah, that was forever ago. I'm just and making it's a ramp card. sure. That's another ramp card, by the way. It is, it's a good card. I'll have you know. Uh, we could throw in a Stony Brook, that's another way to ramp. But we also have um, Harold's Horn is ramp and Urza's Incubator is ramp. Okay. So we're pretty much good. No, uh, let's buy... I mean, Stony Brook is another ramp. That's a Merfolk, so I'll just put that in. Isn't it only Wizards? Oh, it is Merfolk. It's a Merfolk and it ramps Merfolk. I just talked about how I don't like cards that reduce, but we need a ramp spell. I I'd like. I'd feel comfortable if we had a ramp spell to round things out. So now we only have 14 lands. Uh, oh, no, it's another. Oh, I would, um, I, beast, I put Beast within in the stack. I like having an, a catch all. Uh, I, Nature's Claim is kind of my catch all, honestly. Yeah, but Beast, I mean, I like having a catch all for literally any type. It's like you can literally kill anything. Yeah, I mean, that's true. I'm a big fan of Beast within. Let's get back to this is another deck. So let's, let's see what this deck maybe did differently. I'm not really going to look, I don't really care about the creatures. Just, just for brevity's sake. Oh, we're doing Ice Conceptor in this deck? Uh, no, we're not. We're actually not doing that. Oh, okay. Weirdly enough. Benefactor's Drought. Untap all creatures until end of turn. Whenever a creature an opponent controls blocks, you draw a card and then draw a card. So this is just better than our Dramatic Reversal Jank. Yeah. So I it's two mana guaranteed draw a card, untap all your creatures. I don't even know if we want that, honestly. Because we're already pretty full on the deck, so I don't think we want a cantrip when we're like, well, like trying to find removal spells. I don't even feel like that's, that's a cantrip. I think it's we just have good. Enough. I mean, our, can't, our commander is like most of the card draw we're even going to need. Yeah, but the, I wasn't thinking of that card as a cantrip. It's just more card draw from your commander. Yeah, but we have, I feel like we have enough card draw. Or pumping our creatures or stuff like that. I don't know. What about Mana Confluence City of Brass? I mean, there's just so little in the way of enemy colored lands. It's just. I know. I mean, they're cards that... I hate those cards because I hate cards that go in every EDH deck. Well, those would be cards that go in every... Let me tell you what, son. Those are cards that go in every EDH deck. Yes, I actually talked about that at my local... Uh, L one of my LGSs. Local. Their local LGS. <laughs> yeah, their local, local game store. ATM machine was there. Yeah, I played Command Tower, and like some, I made a joke that... I played a Sensei's Divining Top and said it wasn't, and it, as a joke, I said it wasn't the most annoying card in my hand because I had Lindell's Vault in my hand. No. Oh. And then I played Command Tower and he's like, is that the, not the most annoying? I'm like, it, this card annoys me, but it doesn't annoy most people. I just don't it's like it. It's the silent killer of Commander, let me tell you. Okay, I'm not really that passionate about it. I think they just, just stopped making Command Towers. That's pretty much it. I agree completely. Oh, uh, man. We're not really seeing. I'm just kind of looking for what removal. They're like all playing the same removal spells, which is really weird to me. Like, Disallow has been in, like, every deck. People are big on Disallow. I'm not. Shivatic Relation's kind of cool, but it's another card draw, and we don't really need card we don't, draw. We just don't need card draw. Commander is that. Mm, so let's take a look at our removal, then, I guess, since we, we have 100 cards. Did you have Beast within? No, we tentatively have 100 cards. So I want to see what we actually have. So we have Arcane Denial, Rift, Incubation, that's one I forgot about. 
uh, Confluence, Nature's Claim, Reality Shift. So we're, we're kind of actually not even that bad on removal. There's a bunch of ramp. I would Spreading rather. Spreading takes out a land, so I'm not too worried about that. We can put Strip Mine in this deck. Just because you're going to need some way. Strip Mine's great. Yeah, Strip Mine's very good. Put in Beast Within. Oh, I don't want to look up what Crypto Lithrite is. You want Beast Within too? I love Beast Within. Ugh. I want it like before most removal spells when I'm playing green. Is Oko better than Beast Within? Yeah, but I don't want to put Oko in. Why? Because he's lame. Let's put Oko in. No, he's so lame. Oko, Thief of Crowns, is now in the deck. <sighs> that card is so lame. You're going to have to cut a card for Oko. Having played several formats that it's ruined, I hate that card. What? That's not going to ruin Commander. I think it's totally... I don't think it... That's no, where he belongs. I don't think he ruins Commander. I just hate so him. Like, out of solidarity, you're not, play, you're not playing him? He's in the deck. He dick it. He's in the deck. All right, so we had Strip Mine. Have you seen how sexy he is? Come on. Yeah, he what are some it. other um, cute lands that I'm trying to think? And I think we pretty much have them all. Uh, I don't want to play on Claim Territory, like we said. A uh, Ghost Quarter is a budget way. Um, I would probably play Botanical Sanctum in this deck. We are not taking, even though we can draw a bajillion cards, we still don't want Reliquary Tower. And I don't think Homeward Path is anything. Reliquary Tower is so overplayed. It really, it really is. Homeward Path is a meta call. It literally is a meta call, because that card yeah, is- I think it's bad, and you can say that's because it's bad in my meta, or whatever. I mean, if, it, if a card is a meta call, usually it's a bad card overall. Yeah, so I like to search a competitive deck just to see what people are doing competitively. Yeah, like what's, okay, well what's the, what's the craziest thing you can do? Probably Dramatic Reversal, Paradox Engine, Earthcraft stuff. But I can still see what kind of like removal they like to play, like another Disallow. <laughs> Leave me alone with these Disallows. Why is this also I, popular? I don't know, it's, it's one of those- Are these decks recent? Because maybe, maybe Disallow gained popularity due to Thassa's Oracle. I don't know, maybe. Trying because, for the hordes is not a card. Well, the I thing like. is, they put the trigger on the stack, and then they like oh, yeah, they, they mine a consultation, so then they lose yeah. after you counter it. So I, maybe that's I'm the idea. I'm aware of that, but it doesn't make me any any more super stoked about it. Well, I'm just saying maybe that's why it gained so much popularity recently. I would, I'll I'll give you a solid maybe on on that one. Uh, true name we have Biomancer is really cool. I think we're just about even even done. I think we just have to cut some things. This deck is sweet. I'm not seeing anything that we really like, any glaring holes that we missed, because those usually, those come up when you search four or five decks. It's like, oh, we missed this. Yeah, no. This deck looks really cool, though. I'm a big fan so far. Like, in terms of tribes, it, it, it's going to be able to draw cards. You get good removal, and you get really solid, cute ways to ramp. So I think it's going to be able to do the things you need to do. Um, do we just want to fill out the last 18 lands with basics, though? That's, that's the last thing I'm, I'm wondering. I love spicing up the mana base. So do we want to throw in any other weird lands? Do we care about, like, Field of the Dead? This isn't really a Field of the Dead deck. No, I don't think it's a Field of the Dead deck. As, as, as close to free as that, actually, that card actually is. I, I don't mean, know. Ghost Quarter maybe makes it I in? think the one thing that I will say about a Field of the Dead deck is it's not going to be budget. Because um, you want all the fetch lands. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're gonna yeah you really want Fetchlands. You're going to maximize Fetchlands in your Field of the Dead deck, which is Speaking of Fetchlands, do we throw in Evolving Wilds, Terramorphic? Yes. Might as well. I'm perfectly fine with those cards. There's no synergy in here, but I think I just want a little bit of not a thousand basics. It just feels, it just feels not good to play 8,500 basics. Yeah, I mean, it's, sometimes it's tough. I mean, Simic you're growth, on, you're... Simic growth Chamber, does that get us anywhere? What about Scavenger Grounds? We could throw in a we could throw in a scavenger grounds desert package. No, I'm not a big fan of scavenger grounds. You don't like scavenger grounds? I think I'm throwing it in. I've never been a fan of that card. What? We don't even use our graveyard really. So like you throw scavenger grounds in, and then you throw in desert of the indomitable, which is like totally fine. And then you throw in desert of the mindful. <laughs> I like how you knew them. I, I did not know what they were called. Well, it's just got all the deserts have the same name as the gods. Yeah, I know. I just didn't know what their names were. It's embarrassing. Oh, I'm sorry. Embarrassing. Ruin is the Indomitable, kept not the Mindful. I, I don't know. Yeah, and then True, Glorified, Fervent. Slash, if you're in the, exp if you're in the Invocation, it's Pervert. <laughs> Hazret the Pervert. <laughs> Hazret the Pervert. Good old Hazret the Pervert. And Amonkhet, they have to notify you when Hazret moves closer to you. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently I can't spell... Terramorphic Expanse. What, so, what did you put? I put Terramorphic. Terramorphic Expanse. Mofic, mo problems. Yeah. Mofic. Mofic. Right. So, 
Uh, I forget how many. Just put one island in and one forest. Yeah, yeah, and then we can toggle them up and down. Yeah, exactly. I'm not putting snow covered in because I don't think I'm clever. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like smarter than you. <laughs> I don't. You don't have to play those games. You play snow. If you're playing whatever, if you're playing lens, put it in. More importantly, I think people forget this. If you're playing Field of the Dead and you're a two or three color deck, you get those snow covered lands in. You split them like 50 50 because when you're searching, you search for the opposite one and they have different names. I had to yell up easy about that because he first. Yeah, at first he I was search- playing mono white tokens and I have Field of the Dead and I'm like, I have one snow covered planes. And he's like, well, why don't you just go four and four? I'm like, yeah. I don't know. It, I just, just, it just made the most sense. It's like, yeah. it doesn't, it never matters which one you actually have. They don't act, there's no negative side to them, which is right. so we the need, problem um, with snow covered lands, but that's neither here nor yeah, there. We have to add. We have to add, um, we want 34, so we have to add 11 lands. How do you want to distribute this? I think we're, high, we just want higher islands. Higher islands, so let's go like, what? so if we go six forests, then we go seven islands, that should do it, and then we have to make a couple cuts. Five, six, seven, right. we're almost done with this. I didn't think I would be doing Kumena when I, when I woke up today. We didn't even have a script when I woke up today. <laughs> and we still didn't, actually. We just kind of no. went in. Wow, so we have 101 cards? Really? And the desired amount of lands? So we just have to cut one thing? That's weird. This is going to be easy. I don't even remember... Um, I don't even remember <laughs> getting... I thought we had 102. Whatever. So we have tutors, we have card draw, we have ramp, we have removal. We have literally everything we want. We have cute island walk synergies. We have infinite combo in this merfolk deck. And then all we got to do now is cut one card. I, Can we cut stupid curse catcher? <laughs> is it the worst card? Then yeah. I don't know. Maybe. It's probably like the jankiest. Maybe. Maybe just cut the four mana bounce guy. We probably need one of them. You think we only need one? So we cut. Why uh, do we need two? Storm Tamer. We have two. We have Storm tutors, and I don't want to play. A, that guy's just bad. We have, Actually, we have one Eternal Witness. So I think that's where the deck ends up. Let's double check, just to make sure. Uh, average CMC. 3.15, that is like super good. We weren't even paying attention to that. Well, we were in a sense that like, if I see eight, nine, 10, I'm like not gonna really add that as much as everything else. Uh, eight mythic rares in this deck. That's crazy. 14 commons. I'm just saying random things. The- 40 uh, rares? Yes, it took us like, what, 30 minutes to do this? This took us, uh, nope, it took us longer than that. This, wait, wait. So 45 This was a 45 minute. 14 minutes left. We gonna, I think we officially end the timer though. No, we're gonna end the timer. Because yeah. this deck is built, you can actually go buy this deck if you go to the link in the description, because this is going to be up there. We're going to throw it on, we're going to convert it up on a TCG player, though. Because yeah. that's where you get the money, the money to throw back at the channel yes. when you buy cards that you need. So let's go ahead and stop this, and then I'll throw this over there. We're big again. I, I would say this was a roaring, a rip-roaring success. A rip-roaring? Yeah. Okay. I've never heard that term before. Rip roaring? Rip roaring? Well, it just is. It's a term. Okay. Well, you, I mean, I had fun. I don't even really. I wouldn't say I'm super thrilled about Kamina as a card. I like the art. Uh, but I'm, this deck, I'm much more attached to this deck now that I built it right now live. Uh, do you live. Know, there were sweet combos. There's some pretty sweet combos. I mean, I just love going infinite. In oh, what's, deck what's the budget? I'm looking at about 500, 550. That's not bad. That's right around. That's cheap for decks that we do. That's. Cheap overall, and like there's a lot of cards that just don't need to be in this deck that are expensive. Coastal Piracy, it's like 20 bucks, get it out. Really? You, uh, yeah. Wow, I mean, I mean, Breeding Pool, Path of Ancestry, the, some of the more expensive lands we just kind of threw in without going for, or without, you know, considering it. Don't, you just don't need them. But there's a lot of stuff, let's see, looking at this list, a lot of this stuff is pretty cheap overall. Most of the merfolk are gonna be pretty cheap. Thrasios is like 25 bucks. That doesn't actually really do anything other than it is another way to draw your whole deck. With um, intruder alarm and everything, but that's not that's neither here nor there. Yeah, um, there's just plenty of cards you can cut. Just look at it. If you if you're like, there's very few people right now who are like, I'm building this exact deck. How do I get it down to 200 bucks? You basically just cut every card that's 20 dollars. They're not that necessary. The centerpiece of this deck is the commander. It's Kumena. Yeah, even th- even Thassa's Oracle is like seven dollars now. Oh man, so good in Pioneer. It yeah. didn't get banned. It's probably doing like a celebratory dance that didn't get banned in Pioneer. They're like, I'm gonna wreak some more havoc. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, that's not what it sounds like. That's exactly what Thassa's Oracle. Every time you play it, it goes ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so we plugged TCG. Who else do we have to plug? Uh, Shamelessly. Uh, 
our 45 patrons, we love you all as much as we can without making you uncomfortable. Um, you guys are awesome. You make the channel possible. Everything's getting improved. We have to order mics. We got the money sitting there. We'll get the cameras and then, or we'll get the mics and then they'll be on camera with us. Yeah, we need them. Yeah, they're going to be good mics. We're going to, we're upgrading. We're just trying to get everything bigger and better for this channel because ultimately our goal is just to keep making this channel as good as it can possibly be. Okay, I would disagree with part of that. I don't think that we're going to get mics and then two years from now we're going to get bigger mics. <laughs> we're going to get better mics, but it's not like eventually there's just going to be a mic in front of the camera and you won't be able to see us. <laughs> I didn't say bigger mic. You said bigger and better. We're trying to get bigger and better. Bigger in terms of the subscribers channel. and channel reach. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. I don't, I'm not, I'm talking not trying about, to get any bigger. I'm not talking about mics. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, Honorary patrons, Tammy and Michelle, our moms. Yes, our mothers, Tammy what, what, and Michelle. What, what are our two more ways they could support the show? Uh, well, we already, no, it's only one more because we already did TCG. Uh, one more way that you could support the show is with a digital tip chart called buymeacoffee.com. Link in the description below. Again, coffee apparently costs three bucks according to this site. So go there. You can give us tips and we will shout you out. Also, um, the last way that I was thinking is to comment Gravy Boat. So we can finally get a Gravy Boat. We're never going to get a Gravy Boat. We're going to get a Gravy Boat. You have to believe. I, I don't know where, where do they sell. Do they sell it at like Wegmans? Ooh, why not? Gravy boats? I don't know where they sell those. They sell them at Walmart for sure. Walmart has them? Oh, what, what are we doing? Um, okay. How have we not got one? Ooh, tidbit time. Oh, I, yeah, the tidbit about our life. I do have a tidbit. Uh, this is super random, but it is a tidbit about our life. Uh, we're going to be, our lease is up in June, right? Okay, yeah. We're going to be is. moving out of this current place, and we're going to be getting a different place, but we're planning on getting an extra bedroom in the place we go to. Ideally, so we can have a studio, maybe... Not, all, not for every video, but ditch the green screen, get like a setup, get some plants, I mean, some, some, some tchotchkes, maybe the gravy boat's gonna be in the background. No, yeah, the more we keep going up, I eventually, when I have more free time, right now working full time, I don't have the free time, I would, I would use the green screen for more of a stream type thing. If we, oh, man, if we could start streaming arena. I do so arena fun. drafts all the time. Yeah, it's not EDH, but the only reason, the only reason it wouldn't be EDH is because we can't play EDH on there. Yeah, I'm not really messing around with Brawl. If T TBH. I would mess around if you give if you keep going and you give me a like maybe in like five years brawl like if <laughs> five, it, years. five years historical brawl would be interesting. In five years we're gonna be millionaires. We won't even talk to the fans. We won't even mention the fans in our videos in five. Heart years. your comment <laughs> never. Heart your comment with a response. We already have your money. <laughs> <laughs> Got all the ad revenue. We'll right. take we'll do an episode of MTV Cribs where we they go through our house and we're like, yo, this is the bed where we have all the sex. Yeah, the the like James Charles like check out my mansion video. Blech. Blech. Well, we just threw shade. We didn't throw shade. I threw out. I threw shade at check my mansion video. That's yeah. stupid. Oh, in my garage where I keep my collection of car collections. Get out of here. Ugh. I'm about to throw shade. I wasn't gonna throw shade. Uh, Jordan was watching his nephew. My nephew. Yeah, Jordan. Tip my, number two. Tip number two. I have a nephew named Jordan. Uh, my nephew was watching a video of a guy called Danny Duncan. So I'm guessing he's very popular. So I'm guessing a lot of people watching this actually just know who he is. Go at Danny Duncan and tell him to give us some clout. <laughs> Yeah, go start a Twitter feed. I'm throwing things. shade at him. <laughs> Who cares? All he has to do is say our name, and we'll get a thousand subscribers. I don't even. I, okay, I don't blame him for what he does. I just think the things he does are stupid. Which are what? Attention grabbing. He just he like the one of the last videos that I watched with Jordan. He made his friend roll around and poop for a thousand, like ten thousand dollars. Like dumb video. It's like stupid. It's like I don't blame him. The guy is a millionaire. The guy also did a stupid mansion video. It's like and Jordan's like this is new place. Look how cool it is. I'm like, yeah. It just makes me, it makes me, it makes me, I guess it's envy at a point to an extent. Mm. Well, I mean, this man is ridiculous. I, so if I had to trade lives with somebody who was filthy rich, but they're an idiot, I wouldn't do it. That's true. I wouldn't become an idiot I don't to even, be rich. To be fair, I don't know how much of an idiot he actually is. I don't want to throw like shade and it's say. It's like when I trade lives with a plant. No, because I'm a plant. <laughs> you call, you're calling Danny Duncan a plant? Intellectually. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, Travis Scout. <laughs> just leave it at that.